the last tip before we go into the Q&A session um, is tip number seven. So you want to get the right thermal mass. And so thermal mass in a passive solar greenhouse is really important. You'll see a lot of greenhouses that use water. Water is a great thermal mass. Um, however, it's not great if you're going to let your greenhouse go below zero because now that water can freeze and potentially rupture whatever vessel you've got it in. Um, I've seen greenhouses with fish tanks, which are very effective. Those fish tanks are kept above zero. And so the fish tank itself resists uh, thermal shift, essentially. So it's a massive thermal battery. You'll notice in ours, we have a rocket mass heater, which is primarily made out of clay and sand or cob. And this has been a really effective thermal mass for us. And so thermal mass in the summertime will help keep it cool during the day, but will also release heat at night back into the greenhouse, keeping it warm at night. Uh, it works both in the summertime as a, a flywheel effect as well as in the wintertime. Uh, generally speaking, the reason that I don't use water in greenhouses is that even though concrete is less effective as a thermal mass, um, it's still, uh, you, you can just add more concrete to it. So generally speaking, we say you add four or five times the amount of concrete that you would water. And by concrete, you can use cob, you can use rock, you can use any material kind of like that, um, you know, as a thermal mass within your system. So if you wanted to add 10 liters of, um, 10 liters or three gallons of water, you'd end up adding, you know, somewhere between 40 and 60 kilograms or 80 to 100 pounds of concrete or rock in, to get the equivalent thermal mass in your space. It's all going to depend on, on what your goals are and how you've set the inside of the space up. But thermal mass is very important. You want to make sure that you properly mass the building. Hey, you're probably already subscribed, but if you're not, click on the subscribe button below and I will make sure to keep you up to date with the most recent permaculture information and education.